Now from the first part of the question we saw that y could be expressed as 2x cubed plus 3x to the minus 2 and we've got to integrate y with respect to x so let's just write down that we've got to integrate y with respect to x so what that's going to be is the integral of 2x cubed then plus 3x to the minus 2 integrated with respect to x. Now I've written it in this form because when you integrate anything like this okay let's just mark it down the side here just as a reminder that if you have to integrate anything of the form ax to the power n with respect to x all you simply do is add 1 to the power so that be n plus 1 and divide by the new power alright okay so we've got those types of terms here so all we've got to do then is simply add 1 to the power so we've got 2x to the power 4 and divide by that new power 4 similarly with the next term we've got 3x to the minus 2 so we add 1 to the power so adding 1 to minus 2 gives me minus 1 and again divide by the new power minus 1 you've also got to remember that if you have no limits here then you must have a constant of integration so I'm going to call it C so plus C so always remember that it says we need to simplify each term so we can simplify this first term because 2 cancels into both these two terms 2 into 2 goes 1 2 into 4 goes 2 so what we have is x to the power 4 over 2 or a half x to the power 4 as for this term we've got plus divided by minus so that's going to be minus and 3 times x to the minus 1 remember that x to the minus n is exactly the same as 1 over x to the n so therefore x to the minus 1 must be 1 over x to the power 1 or 1 over x so for this term we end up with 3 times 1 over x or simply 3 over x and then we have the constant of integration c okay so we've simplified each term and that brings us now to the end of this question